Hello, Open Boxes users. In this video, we will talk about recalling lot numbers. For example, if a supplier has recalled some of the items uh, for a specific lot number, how can we mark that in Open Boxes? Let's say the supplier Imres has recalled all items for this lot number, 9840CH of insulin, um, and they want these items back to them. We can mark them as recalled by going on the electronic stock card, which I am currently on. And then here I will go to manage lot numbers. This will show me all the lot numbers for this product present. Uh, 9840CH, I can take some actions here where I can edit inventory item, delete this inventory item or recall. To recall, let's click on the recall button. And here, this item will be displayed in a red bar. If I go to the stock card again, we can see that the on-hand quantity is 1600, which is true because it's still in our warehouse, but available quantity that we can use to actually fulfill requisitions is zero because this item has been recalled or this lot has been recalled. Now, once the recall is confirmed and you're ready to send this uh, lot number I lot items in the slot number back to the supplier. We can go through the outbound return process. Under the outbound, let's create an outbound return, which is basically items getting returned from CMS to the suppliers. Here we can say lot recalled by Inres or whatever seems fit for you. The destination would be the Inres supplier. Um, and again, this is just a uh, for an example, you can select the actual destinations here. We go next here. Let's select the product, which is FF42. Let's search for that product. And here also we can see which lot number has been recalled. So this is the item that is recalled. Let's select this entire uh, quantity by clicking on the button here. And you can also enter the quantity here. You can use other criteria for search, such as lot numbers, expiration date, bin location. Once you've selected the correct lot number, let's go to the next page. Here, uh, you don't have much to do on the pick, pick list. You can just uh, review the quantities. You can print the pick list if you need to. And then we can go to the next page. And here is the similar process as any shipment process. Um, what is the shipment type? If it is sea, air, or land, the ship date, you can change it to today or backdate it to a previous date as needed. Um, the expected delivery date, you can select one. Um, any comments, the driver name, and a tracking number if you have them. And then finally, send the shipment. So now this lot number has been shipped. If we go back to the electronic stock card, refresh the page that a uh, lot number will no longer be present because it does not exist in our warehouse anymore and it is not available to give out. Now that is a simple recall process. There can also be scenarios where some of the items have been sent out to test if the quality is still good. And based on that testing, it will be determined if the product needs to be recalled. In those scenarios, you can first put these items on hold location because you do not want to give these items or this lot number out while it's still under testing. Um, so to do that, you can go to the specific uh, lot number. Under actions, we can do transfer stock. For the transfer stock, the origin is CMS. The destination is also CMS in the central medical stores. However, the bin location is different. So the bin location will change from injectables to hold. And how much of that quantity is going to hold location? Let's say all of it, transfer stock. So now here, as same as the recall, we have 350 on hand, but zero available because this bin location or this lot number is on hold. And once the testing is back um, and it is in fact uh, true that this lot number needs to be recalled. We can follow the same process again by going to managing lot numbers, um, recall, and you can see that the previous lot number is still present, uh, but it was recalled. So the same for this one. Now it is recalled. Let's go back to the stock card. So this is recalled.
um, and then you can go follow the process of outbound return. In scenarios that you have recalled a lot number and you need to unrecall it for whatever reason, you can go back to the manage lot numbers, um, select the actions button again, and then revert the recall. So now it's no longer under recall, but if you had placed it on hold, it is still on hold. So if you need to take it out of the bin, hold bin location to the actual bin location, you can again follow the transfer stock process by going there, um, selecting CMS again, Central Medical Stores, and then just selecting the correct bin location. And you have reverted everything uh, that we just did. Might take some time to update the available. There we go. And now this is no longer recalled or on the whole bin. Thank you for watching.